Right, so the trick's called Ripper and it's based on this character, Jack the Ripper. Now what I want to try and do is catch Jack the Ripper in the act. So we need a victim. Ace of Hearts, that's a pretty good victim. We're going to leave the Ace of Hearts right there. Now I want you to notice that at the moment Jack's knife and hand are not covered in blood. He hasn't done anything wrong yet. That doesn't mean that he hasn't done it in the past, it just means that he's probably good at cleaning up after himself, destroying evidence. So we need to catch him. What I'm going to do is place Jack and our victim close together. I'm going to create a ye olde English back alley. Ready? Ta-da! We need to provide some darkness for Jack to do his nasty work. And there, that should be it. Jack's knife and hand are now bloody and our poor ace of hearts has fallen victim to Jack's nasty habits.